Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to derive the compatibility conditions also called as sent to Venance equations of compatibility or continuity equations. Let's discuss how to derive these equations. See, it was observed that the displacement of a point in a solid body can be represented by a displacement vector u. That is u in ux, uy, uz. That is this displacement components along x, y and z axis respectively. Okay, but I am telling you these are the displacement components. But we also have strain components to show the displacement of a point that is EXX, that is epsilon, we discuss it as epsilon XX, YY, ZZ, and gamma XY, gamma YZ, and gamma ZX. These three are the displacement components, these six are the rectangular strain components. See, evaluation of this six rectangular strain components from these three displacement components is very easy. That involves simple differentiation formulas. That is very easy to solve. But whenever we have to solve this uh, six three displacement components from the six rectangular strain components, we need to have some other relations between this. So that are called as this compatibility conditions or continuity equations. As I told you before see now uh, let me just tell you when we are deriving that six compatibility conditions we are dividing them into first group and second group we would be getting our first key three compatibility conditions from first group and second three compatibility conditions from second group first let us see what is the first group says see this is the equation I told you that is we can get the six rectangular strain components by simply derivating these terms okay seeing coming to the first group we have three formulas here we are just considering only these three terms exx eyy and this gamma xy considering only these three we'll get we'll get this first group compatibility conditions okay considering this see this is the formula that is the relation between this rectangular strain components and the displacement components let's go to the next step now we are just differentiating this first and second equation that is differentiating the first equation with respect to y double differentiating like in in the second condition we are double differentiating this equation with respect to x for xx we are differentiating with respect to y for yy we are differentiating with respect to x See, we are differentiating the EXX formula that is double differentiating with respect to Y. XX with respect to Y. That would give us on the right hand side that is equals to dou UX by dou X, right? When we are double differentiating with respect to Y, you will be getting dou square UX by dou X dou Y. And that is again multiplied with this UX. So that would be dou cube UX by dou X into dou Y square. And we are just uh, taking common this dou square by dou x dou y taking common you will get this again we are differentiating the second equation with respect to x double time like double differentiating you will get this we are simply taking this one common over here you will get this equation now we just add these equations 1 and 2 this is these are the two 1 and, one and 2 equations we just add them this is the equation so after adding what we'll take we'll take this common we'll take we'll take this term common right so that would be dou x by dou y plus dou y by dou x that would be again dou square this whole term would resemble gamma xy if you have seen in that formula gamma xy is equals to as you know gamma xy is equals to dou x by dou y dou y by dou x we'll just add that okay if this is the formula we'll substitute that so from 1 and 2 and 1 that is from both this 1 and 2 equations and this one equation we will get this first compatibility condition that is dou square see this is dou square gamma xy dou x dou y right right hand side it will be same but left hand side what are like how we are getting this formula we are getting this by double differentiating this first term with respect to y square second term with respect to x square we are writing that equation 
similarly by considering eyy ezz epsilon xx we are changing that terms see by considering these three we'll get another equation by considering these three we'll get another equation i told you in first group we'll have three compatibility conditions for the first compatibility conditions we have considered that two formula see in first group as i told you there will be three equations compatibility equations for the first compatibility equation we considered xx yy and gamma xy for the second compatibility condition we'll consider yy zz and yz zz xx and zx so this is how we'll get the first set of compatibility conditions that is the first ki three next going to the second group in the second group we are considering the formula of this gamma xy yz and xz okay so now our first step is differentiating the above equations how i will tell you see if it is xy we'll differentiate it with respect to z if it is yz we'll differentiate it with respect to x if it is xz we'll differentiate it with respect to y see i will explain you the first term this is gamma xy that would be do gamma xy by do z this this is again do square ux by do z right we are differentiating it with respect to do z so do z and do y this would be do square ui by do z and do x this is gamma xy this from this first equation we got this a equation okay next again from the second equation we'll get the b equation simply by derivating that partially derivating okay these are the three equations now we'll simply add equations b and c subtract a okay see i'm adding b and c equations subtracting a from that that is do gamma yz by do x plus do gamma zx by do y minus do gamma xy by do z would give us on the right hand side this value after the calculations after the simple calculating that after simple calculations we'll get that value next we are again differentiating the above equation with respect to z see i will tell you why we are di differentiating only with respect to z now see here we are subtracting we are adding b and c equation subtracting a that is the equation containing do z in the denominator we are subtracting again we have to differentiate with respect to z if we are sub subtracting the equation x that is the equation that is containing z the x in the denominator will uh, differentiate it with respect to x if it contains y over here will differentiate with respect to y now as we are having z in the negative sign we are subtracting it with respect to z as whatever we are subtracting it with we'll take that one here to differentiate it again we are subtracting it with z so we'll again differentiate it with respect to z okay that would be simple do by do z of this whole equation over here again to this equation that would be do cube uz by do x do y do z would be here in the denominator added up okay that is again do by do z of this equation on the right hand side it will become do square of e epsilon zz we know epsilon zz is do uz by do z i am taking do uz by do z term common we are getting this so simply after all the calculation we'll get do by do z of this equation over here is equals to 2 do square epsilon zz by do x do y this is the first compatibility condition in the second group similarly by considering the other terms we'll get the remaining two compatibility conditions in the second group that is see i will tell you how to remember this whenever you are having x common over here you will just subtract that term over here containing the x in the denominator if we have y term over here we will subtract that term over here okay and if we need y over here it should be z and x the other two terms in x y and z okay if we need x over here the other two terms y and z z over here x and y okay on the right hand side it is simple if we have y over here it is x and z over here if we have x over here it is y and z over here if we have z it is x and y other two terms simply you can just remember this second group of the compatibility conditions now just writing all of them together 
so this are the six strain compatibility relations the first three are from the first group okay and for the second three that is from the second group this six equations combined the called as the compatibility equations we have derived them that is it for this video guys please like share comment to my channel please subscribe to my channel that would greatly help me i appreciate you watching this video thank you